A lot of you guys think that it's your job to entertain women. This isn't open mic night. This isn't star search. It's not your job to entertain women. So let's talk about five reasons why women tell you that they find funny guys attractive. Number five, making her laugh shows that you're agreeable. A woman thinks that if you can make her laugh, you're going to be agreeable. What does that mean, A.V.? You're agreeable to the shit that she suggests, the things and the decisions that she makes based off of, emo- off of emotion, not logic. She wants to find a man who is agreeable. And when a man is too agreeable with a woman, she tends to categorize him in the friend zone. She doesn't respect you, and she's not getting turned on by you. So women think that if you are funny, you tend to make her laugh because she wants to be entertained and she thinks that you know that she wants to be entertained. She thinks that you're going to be more agreeable for the dumb shit that she's going to suggest to you in the future. Number four, jokes suggest that you don't take yourself too seriously. Uh. <laughs> Has any Does anyone know a leader who is not serious? Does anyone know a leader? Can anyone name a leader who doesn't take himself seriously? How do you have faith in someone who doesn't take themselves seriously? So subconsciously, when you continuously make a woman laugh, she categorizes you as a fucking clown. She doesn't take you seriously, but yet you want her to be submissive, but yet you don't get the respect that you want. So you go on podcasts, you super chat niggas, you hire niggas for consulting, but yet you are the clown in the relationship. Again, we're not talking about being serious all the time. You shouldn't. You should be able to laugh at yourself and laugh at things. But at the end of the day, if your woman doesn't take you seriously when it's time to take you seriously, how on earth is she going to be submissive and follow your program? Number three, your humor helps her deal with her bad decisions. Your humor, your jokes. Help her helps her cope with her bad decisions, with her baby daddies, the BBL, the liposuction, all the shit that she did. You making her laugh is helping her deal with her bad decision. It is not your responsibility to deal with her bad decisions. This isn't Captain Savaho. This is why we discourage you guys to. Take single parents, single women, single mothers, rather, seriously. Unless you have kids of your own and you really have your head on straight. I'm not saying that it can't work. Of course it can work. But you have to be a strong leader. You got to take yourself seriously. And you have to understand the roles in the relationship. And you have to define them very clearly. And she has to adhere to them. Now, she's not going to adhere to them just because you're banging her out properly. She's going to adhere to them because she sees benefit in adhering to them. When we talk about women and their employers, well, how do you listen? Why do you listen to your employer? You clock in every day at the same time. You don't talk back to your employer because she sees benefit because she understands that if she talks back to her manager, she goes to work late, she's not going to get a paycheck. What's in it for her to be submissive to you? Number two, being funny will win over her friends and family. You're not going to fall for the banana on the tailpipe. <laughs> Okay, women live comparatively. They want to make sure that her single mother is going to like you. She wants to make sure that her friends are going to get along with you. That's why it's so important. If you're funny to her, hopefully you make everyone else laugh because she wants to be accepted. This is the reason why she says that she wants a funny dude. Are you banging her sister? Are you banging her friends? Are you just banging her? You got to set parameters in the relationships that you're in. You got to set parameters, bro. If you don't set parameters, you're not going to be in a position to lead or be in a harmonious relationship, bro. It is what it is. And number five, women bore easily so they want to be entertained. It's not your job to entertain a woman. Okay? You got to purge all that shit. It's time for men to take masculinity seriously. We are under attack. There's going to be a point in time where we're not going to be able to speak. 
we're not going to be able to do anything everything is being censored the truth is censored they're demonetizing your platforms your voices it starts with you you need to hold yourself accountable you need to hold your father accountable as well for not being there or being man enough to have a discussion with you on how he let you down and if you're a father you need to make sure that you do better because you know better now i want you guys to check out this book masculine compromise the journey of emasculation to your emancipation it's available on amazon.com it's gonna save you some time and connect some dots for you if you enjoyed this show donate support the war cash app alpha villains will send in a super chat like this video share this video because youtube's not going to share this type of content because they want you to be soft if there's some mothers in here bro please stop please let your child see their father especially if they a good father let your child see their father if y'all just don't know that ruins us inside like it ruins us bad like our our relationship like we have to grow up with this and this gonna forever be a story of our lives growing up without our father like if you listen if you if you got a child right now and you're literally keeping them away from their father you ruin the kid's life it's not gonna come back good on you they can always have this hatred towards you you feel me for, for you keeping up but if you like keeping them away from a father for a good reason like he a drug addict or something like that or he just can't get right then yeah i understand but if he's a good father let the man see his child for sure like for real like let him see his child because I'm telling you, we need our father figures. You feel me? We need our father figures. We we love our mom. We love y'all to death. We love our mom so much, but we need our father figures. We need that, you know, that manly in our life. You, you feel what I'm saying? So please let let your child see their father, especially if they're a great father. And if you if you are anything like me, and um you're grown now and you have the chance to go find your father, and he actually like a good person, I advise y'all to go. Go find your father and go talk to your father and catch up on the times. Cause look, this life is short, bro. I understand that this life is short and you only get one father, you feel me? So I feel like I gained enough confidence to go actually speak to my dad and have a conversation with him and see like what he's been going through.